This is video two of Contemporary Context, my independent project. Um, this is the second phase of the assignment. And so far, um, I've been putting into practice all the skills that I've learned within Contemporary Context. Um, so now we are working independently to produce our own project with research, contextual research, critical thinking, um, sample making and most important the refinement stage so this will be my second sketchbook where I've now started to research um, construction um, keeping in mind the um, idea of the construction of the Paul Smith coat um, and this has led me to start playing around with um, manipulation and constructing ideas with basic stitch now due to um overloading my work with too many samples and not enough refinement and channeling as advised by my tutor i've started to play around with ideas um still with the same enthusiasm um and then what i want to do is to refine them down to keep this idea behind the assignment as simple as possible um, so I'm taking the theme construction and I'm going to take the ideal of simple stitch work with construction to produce my samples. So as per usual, my sketchbooks always do have a flow, always have plenty of photographic evidence and plenty of enthusiasm with the research and playing around with ideas for the theme construction. Now, as the sketchbook processes, I start to move into the realm of drawing and mark making, which is very, very important. Um, and I have condensed these um, aspects of my work into a sketchbook rather than working with separate pieces of paper. I found it very um, useful to use an A3 size sketchbook because it gives me the size and it just makes me feel confident. Um, I've not so much liked anything smaller and I don't like A4. So as we can see, I started to proceed with my colour palettes, taking on board um, colour proportions and playing around with constructed ideas for colour, um, heading towards some um, samples. Lots of collage work and note making and bullet pointing and more drawings of simple construction and then starting to develop and refine and start to play around with constructed samples. Now the other important key um, which had been addressed was I never really seemed to focus with my contextual research so um, I was fortunate enough to be able to go to London to see the Alexander McQueen exhibition at the flagship store and one useful thing that I wanted to um, bring into this assignment was this exhibition was all about the design process which was really really useful and a very very um, useful piece of contextual research to have. Now, the other contextual research which I produced was um, locally, um, which I've also been inspired by, is the um, concrete wall structures by uh, William Mitchell. And I've taken photographic evidence and I've read upon the history and the purpose of this um, constructed concrete wall partition which is based in Kidderminster um, by the Ring Road. Now the secondary sketchbook was to start to consider the construction of textiles within a context and I do like my textiles to have the context of fashion because 
I love fashion, love my clothes, and I just think it's a great concept. So I produced this um, sketchbook with fashion illustrations and some constructed ideas and some abstract images of what could either be samples or a connotation of a panel, could be a collar, could be a dress, could be a print. And once again, this sketchbook flows pretty much like every other sketchbook that I do, which I do like my sketchbooks to tell a story and for them to be quite exciting and to be um, very individual. There were other developments of this assignment. I started to look at and started to become very interested in architectural textiles, um, which again could be another concept for a future reference. And here we have some of my beautiful samples. I will say they are particularly good. We can see that there's a lot of influence of the Paul Smith coat with simple construction and stitching. And also here I started to play with the William Mitchell idea. And then I started to refine some of these ideas and started to simplify my colour palette down to uh, pure white. Uh, and just elements of coloured stitching with a few other indications of metal stitch work. And there we have it. I will be um, producing another video footage of um, some samples where I do wish to discuss the samples in depth.